Okay, I'm back again. Uh, just thought I'd give you another update. Um, not really much has changed. Uh, I bought this little meter to make sure I wired everything right. I'm guessing three lights means it's correct, so I mean I wired it right. Uh, the plug sockets are all working now. And I'll just give you a brief view round and I'll uh, do a little bit of explaining. Okay, so well, it's just a little look round, so I'll start explaining now. This is our 240 volt, basically it's a consumer unit, but it's a distribution board at the same time. I also got this one cheap, so I thought I'd use this instead. It does the exact same job, I just had to modify it a bit. Uh, that supplies all the power we need to all the circuits in here. Uh, that's outdoor lights, indoor lights. Uh, drills, motors, anything that needs power, it powers it. Uh, it powers all the plug sockets uh, and the industrial sockets here. Which are these? 16 amp. Um, anyway, straying off a bit from what we talked about. This is uh, a temperature gauge for the generator, measures the temperature of the generator, also when it's off and when it's on, so we can't overheat it. So we know when, when to turn it off, when it's too hot or too cold then we know why it won't start etc etc you get the idea of it that's our regulator uh, 12 volt DC in uh, from the solar panels and then it just splits it off from the middle terminals there and then that sends it to the battery and that will keep all the uh, voltages in check make sure no overload no, uh, well yeah they do provide overload protection um, and also under voltage as well, that was what I meant to say. Under voltage, over voltage, uh, and overcharging as well, so that protects us against, you know, overcharging the battery or draining the battery too much. And then most of them all, these are all from the battery mostly. You might be able to see them, that's a 20 amp. Uh, that measures the amount of power coming in from the solar panels. Uh, I mean, the maximum we have, uh, you know. 20 30 watts worth of power, you know, two, one half, maybe three amps if you're lucky. Um, that's another 20 amp uh, ammeter. Uh, that's for future upgrading, basically. Um, this one is the the amount of power that the relay uses for the generator. Uh, as we wire the relay into the generator system, so we can switch the generator on or off from a different room. Um, as it's not really designed to do that so I had to modify it and put a relay in and that makes the amount of power that the relay is using moving on um, this is our 100 amp ammeter that measures everything that we're using so anything we've got plugged in it measures it only DC though and that one's a grid tie so that makes the amount of power that the grid tie inverters are using and that one's a 5 amp ammeter for the LED lights, which measures the amount of power that the LED outdoor lights use. Uh, all these switches. Uh, the first switch that you can see is switched on in the corner over there. That's our uh, solar panels. And then the second one, as I said, that's for this second ammeter that I've shown you. That's was, um, for future upgrade, basically what that is. Uh, I can't remember what that one was for. I'll have to check my little list. There's so many circuits in here, I can't remember what they're for. Um, these are for the generator room, where the generator is stored, where we use the generator. That's the lights in the ceiling. Uh, that's the wall lights outside the door. So I'll switch them on at night so we can see where we're going. Uh, and they're for the decking. Um, so you can see where you're going. Or well, when you want to sit out, you can have the decking lights on, etc. etc. Now they're all DC. Any, any ones you can see in these white type fun, funny shaped ones they're um, 12 volt DC moving on with the neons they're all um, mains power 240 volts uh, basically we'll start at the top this one is for our cupboard our, uh, our cupboard our 
light in our battery bank the two foot fluorescent light in the battery bank so let's just switch that on and off um, that is for the, the rear light for the door so inside i show you the rear light there that's what that switch was for that switch is for the lights uh, in the coal shed which is our generating room in our generating room we've got a mains powered strip light as well just in case the battery's flat and we can't use LED lights so I've got this backup one so that's for that um, that's for the workbench as you can see these lights in the workbench here all these lights three lights here and then this one is for the lights over there as you can see switch them on and off um, that is for outdoor lights um, that's for outdoor lights and that's for the lights we have in the alley the fluorescent lights we have in the alley um, this one is for the battery charger uh, so you can switch the battery charger on and this one is for um, very good question I can't remember off the top of my head what it was for uh, this one is a D the DC these two are DC as well but well, they just haven't been wired yet and as you can see it's a DC just waiting to wire it in it's two cables big thick 25 square mil cables you can see poking the way out the panel uh, I'm waiting for a fuse to turn up a big 100 amp fuse so that uh, protects us from over, over current over current protection and um, it hasn't arrived yet so I've been waiting I ordered it from China uh, about two and a half weeks ago and it's still not turned up so I'm waiting now I'm not very happy bunny <laughs> um, anything else that's really changed if you've never watched the videos before uh, then I might not have shown you this this is just my little tool rack for our tools and uh, stuff like that basically uh, there is a couple more things I will be showing you in future videos and also upgrades and um, also the panels how we wired them what we did diagrams stuff like that so um, under here get some light there are all the junctions just look here get the camera focused they're all the junctions so this cable you can see here going into the top of the box that's uh, from the, where I said the fuse would be that goes from the fuse into a 100 amp shunt then from the 100 amp shunt it goes into another 100 amp shunt which is for the grid tie inverters and then from the first 100 amp shunt it goes then to the far end for a 50 amp shunt then from the 50 amp shunt it goes to a 50 amp bus bar so that's for all our cigarette lighter sockets and then also from the 100 amp shunt the first one it goes to the 5 amp bus bar for the LED lights and then the little black thing you can see on the bottom in the little junction that's going to be the negative connection so all the negatives will link back to that and then back to the uh, battery and there's the battery 55 amp hour Numax battery uh, just get focused that's our little junction 25 square mil cables uh, 100 amp maximum the reason we've got long big thick cables is because um, the circuit is enormously long it's about 5 meters long between the battery and the shunts and fuses so um, I decided to put some uh, big thick cables in uh, even though uh, 25 square mil can take about two, the top of my head about 270 amps so it's you know it's nearly two and a half times over what we're going to be putting through maximum but also that cures for voltage drop because when the whole, when the current is at 100 amps it's it, you've got a drop of about half a volt uh, so it, it, you might not think half a volt much but it is on a 12 volt system I mean half a volt it's going to slow a lot of things down uh, little emergency stop for the air uh, for the sockets and um, it's just a little look around for now we're nearly in July, June even 
can't wait for July, my birthday in July. Um, so yeah, it's just a little look round. Oh, and uh, I didn't even know this. I had this myself. 50 amp meter for these cigarette lighter sockets. It's a cigarette lighter socket, and them two are cigarette lighter sockets. So you know, do the math for yourself. Two cigarette lighters and two cigarette lighters, four cigarette lighters. Say each one uses 10 amps, looking at 40 amps. And oh, look, there's a 50 amp there, so we're protected. We're not going to blow anything up or put too much current through it. Um, I'll give you a few wide shots. And also, you can visit our website in the links below. Visit the website, and uh, we have pictures of everything panels system how it's wide diagrams everything so if you want any diagrams or anything else you visit our website in the links below and uh, i'll provide you with all the diagrams so you can do a system that's similar or exactly the same i mean uh, this system doesn't have hundreds and hundreds of watts worth of panels i mean this system didn't cost me really that much the most the most i paid for all this stuff was the cost mostly came out of the panels I mean they were about £6 a panel the isolators were £12 each so I mean you wouldn't really need an isolator I mean if you're not using a generator or you don't want to run off the house then you wouldn't only need one so you can, you can see I would say in my experience you could do this system for under £200 because I got this 20 watt solar panel for about 30 35 30 six pounds something like that it was anyway and uh shunt and eaters three pound four pound there it's not really much and then it's a little fuse board doesn't cost you much or you can just run it straight off an inverter and just plug it into the inverter so it's it's entirely up to you but you visit the website and uh let me know what you think of it as well because it's all new and um this big thick pipe is not a water pipe or a waste pipe it actually is a waste pipe but it's used for cables we put cables inside and that um, basically carries cables for the circuits because all the cables run through the ceiling as you can see here the all them cables they go through the ceiling and you can access them from the generator room and down the pipes and uh, into the, into the con consumer unit distribution board uh, as you can see we've got a spare pipe there and the cables hanging out because we're waiting for the uh, little 90 degree angles so we'll give you another update soon and if you want to know anything then let me know and I'll do all the other stuff, all the videos and stuff and, and uh, yeah let me know